water energy sources. That's what we discussed in our last video. They are the things we require in order for us to be able to do everything. For example, diesel is needed in your school bus by the engine so that it can take you to school. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to know about other types of energy sources there are. In the last video, we also talked about electricity. That's right. Anyway, most of our energy sources all start with the sun. Sunlight is energy, really. Can you prove it? Well, what happens in the summer if we go out to the beach and we don't put any protective sun cream on? Well, we go red and I think most people do too. I go bright red and that's because the sunlight gives its energy to my skin. My skin does not mind a little bit of sunlight, but on the beach in the summer, my skin has too much of the light, causing it to get damaged. Our skin gets damaged with too much sunlight, but plants and trees are really clever. They grow with sunlight. I'm assuming they take the energy in the sunlight and use it to produce new leaves and fruits and things like that. Yeah, that's right. And the fancy scientific word for that is photosynthesis. And we can test to see if that's true. Let's take two small plants and put one in the sun and cover one up all in the dark. Then we see which one grows best. OK. That sounds like a good idea. Let the race begin. Oh look, the plant with the sunlight is definitely taller. So the sunlight's energy is transferred to the plant and it grows. And then we can eat the fruit or the plant itself and we get energy. So you were right, the sun is our energy source. But it does not help us heat the house in winter, does it? Well, don't forget that trees grow and we can chop them down and use them for firewood to heat the house. But I like trees. I don't want to cut them down. Anyway, we don't use firewood to heat our house. We use gas and some of friends of ours use oil. Where do they come from? That's a very long story. In fact, you have to go back 300 million years when plants and trees first started to grow. What? Before the dinosaurs? Yes, before the dinosaurs, that's right. When the plants and trees die, they fall to the floor and they start to rot and decompose. When this happens for a very, very, very long time, all the rotting material starts to sink down into the earth where it gets compressed and heated, and this makes it form gas, oil and coal. We call these fossil fuels. Why are they called fossil fuels? Hmm, I think it's because they're made of prehistoric plants and things, and that means they are really old. So we just call them fossils. Do we use them a lot for energy? Yes, we do actually at the moment. Over 80% of our energy comes from fossil fuels today. Wow, will they ever run out? How much is there? Ah, that's another great question of yours. What do you think? Well, I know the Earth is a fixed size and it does not go on forever. That means there must only be a certain amount. That's right. However, we're out of time to talk about it now, but we'll discuss it in our upcoming videos. Thanks for the great questions. See you next time. I can't wait. See you soon. Bye. Bye.